Hey guys, this is Goldie again, and in this video, I will show you how you can assign G Suite archive license automatically to your users based on their organization unit membership. So as soon as you put a user in a given organizational unit, that user should be assigned an archive license. So by default, there is nothing available out of the box today in G Suite. When I say today, it's 21st of November 2019, but I've uh, created a Google Apps script and let me help you understand what it does and then I'll share my screen to show you how you can leverage it and you can also use the script that I have on my website. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, let's say you have an organizational unit and the name of that organizational unit is archived users. So we will run a cron job where Google Apps Script will fetch the list of the users in this OU and will check for their status. And if it, they are not archived yet, it will go ahead and call directory API to archive those users. And it will keep on running maybe every hour so that you can have it automated. So with that, let me share my screen and show you how you can do exactly that. <music> Okay, so this is my archived users organizational unit. You can name it whatever you want and it has four users. So what I really want is that the first time I, I run the script, they all should be archived. And then after that, when I move any user into this organizational unit, that should be archived automatically. So for that, first thing you should do is go to my uh, blog post, uh, goldiorar.com slash au and then you will land on this page which will give you much more details if you scroll down a bit you will find table of contents and here you should go in this one this section which says automated archiving script click on jump to section and then you will come to this section where i explain what are, what is happening behind the scenes and all that and then finally you will come to this code snippet just click on copy script and you will see script copied so it's in your clipboard now and now let's go to sheets.new to create a new well, we don't actually need the sheet we just go to our google drive and from our google drive click on new and under new you will click on more and here you will find google app script if you do not see Google Apps script here, you can simply click on connect more apps. And when you click on connect more apps, you will uh, search for Google Apps script here. And then you will see it. Just click on connect. And once you're done, you should be able to see it when you click on more here. So I'll now go to Google Apps script. And then let's name our script maybe something which can give us context later. So let's say uh, archive user script, click OK. And let it save the project. It might take a couple of seconds, maybe taking more than that. Uh, archive, okay, it just got the stuff. So I'll delete whatever script we had here and I will paste whatever the script that I copied. So I paste it and the script is here. I'll click on save. Now this script will be leveraging admin directory API so that it can, it can call get the org path uh, users and then also change the status to archive. So for that you will go to resources click on advanced Google services and from here make sure that admin directory API you enable it or turn it on and then click OK it might take a couple of seconds to refresh it and once it's done click on save button once again and just a quick note I'm if you see this line which says archived users here you should be putting the name or the path of your organizational unit so in my case it is archived underscore users and hence I put the path which is parent or the roots uh, archived users so if that is something different in your, in your case make sure you change it okay so now let's go ahead and run the script and I delete these four should be suspended 
not suspended they should be archived so I'll go ahead and click on this play icon to run the script and because this is the first time I'm running it script will ask me to authorize after reviewing the permissions so I'll just click on that uh, make sure that the ID that you're authorizing the script to uh, has user update privileges at least so I'll click on that and if you need you can see what is this script you're doing and then click on allow once you provide the permissions it will go ahead and make the archive call and if I just do a quick refresh here you will see that four users in our archive users or you they are all now archived now that means our script is working fine what we need next is that as soon as we put user here that user should be archived automatically okay and, and for that I will go ahead and set up the triggers in Google Apps script uh, which are kind of uh, cron jobs so I'll click on this clock icon to open the triggers section and here at the bottom right you will see add trigger click on that and here we will define our function in our script there is just one function archive user so let's leave it like that and let's make it time driven and it says early timer uh, so ideally you should have like early or maybe day, day timer but I don't want you to wait for one hour to see how it's working so for now just to show this in the video I'll keep this minutes timer but in your case ideally that should be odd or more than that and let's it notify us immediately in case if our script faces an issue and we will save it now ideally what we have just said is every minute the script should run and it should fetch all the users from this organizational unit and then after that it should filter all the users checking their archive status and if their archive status is false that means they are not archived yet then take their email addresses and then call directory API with that email address and then make their archive status is equal to true and keep on running it unless uh, we worked on all the users okay so now what we will do is let's go to contractor organizational unit and I have two active users here let me select both of them and move them in my archived OU organizational unit and click on continue change and now if I go to archived users I see that two are active users the rest be already archived so these two their status should be archived within a minute when the script runs uh, next so let me just do a refresh and see if it's done if not we'll wait for a few seconds but it seems it, it's done so our script ran and it also put these couple of users who were active to archive so this is how you can you know either you can have every minute timer or maybe every hour timer and then onward just set it and forget it whenever you move the user to your archived users OU that specific user will be archived automatically as per the next script execution time so hope it was helpful if you have any questions comments feedback do not hesitate to put it under this video and I will be happy to collaborate thank you so much